Welcome to the St. Vrain Sports Report. We're glad to have you along with us as we wrap up the high school football season, which means we're wrapping up the fall sports season as uh, we're going to look back at what's going on in high school football uh, last week, but then also some of the championship games coming up this week. But first, we have highlights of our final football game of the season in the St. Vrain Valley. Frederick hosting Pueblo South in the state semifinals in 3A. Second time in the semifinals for Frederick. They were there back in 2011. Warriors already with a school record 11 wins but aiming for that first ever state title, going against a pretty uh, powerful South team. First quarter, Jake Green following his block, keeping in the end zone, and what a great job of blocking by Frederick. They did a, a great job of that uh, throughout this game. South responds with a nice pass from Logan Petit to Hunter Fair for a gain of about 14 yards. That would get to the Colts pass midfield right there, and the Colts would cap that drive with George Longoria taking the handoff and getting in the end zone. That would tie things up at 7-7. Seven Green then with another nice run. Um, he had 82 yards on 23 carries. And again, look at the blocking there. Uh, Warriors just doing a great job in this game. And uh, he then uh, takes the handoff to, or gives the handoff to Tyler Weston. Uh, 50 yards rushing against the Colts in this one. That would set up Luke Dunker for the 25-yard field goal. The Warriors take a 10-7 lead. Colts respond again this time with Petit dropping back and throwing deep. Good coverage by Brandon Hornby right there until the end. And uh, Jackson Dickerson hauls it in. For the touchdown, Colts go on top, 14 to 10. Warriors on the move again with a nice run from Dominic Schleife. And uh, again, the Warriors in business as they get it down to about the 30 yard line. That would set up Green with a short touchdown run, 21st touchdown run of the season for Green. And uh, they take a 17-14 lead at that point. Just before the half, Warriors threatening again, but on third and 12, Green is sacked for about a 13 yard loss. And uh, that would be huge because that would set up this long field goal from Luke Dunker, and it was just off the mark from 52 yards. Dunker, a great season, 9 of 12 overall. He made seven in a row, but that's a tough one from 52 yards out. Um, in the third quarter, Petit threw another deep pass to Dickerson, this time for 30 yards, and then that would set up another con connection between those two. Dickerson sheds the tackle, goes 25 yards for a touchdown. Petit, 13 of 17 for 261, and three touchdowns all to Dickerson. Colts lead 21-17. When uh, Braden Weingart takes that pass and takes things inside the 20 for the Warriors, two catches for him in this game. That was set up Schleif with the touchdown run. Frederick regained the lead 24 21 with 9.40 to go. Colts looking for more on the swing pass, but uh, it's a fumble. The Warriors gang tackle in there. Fumble and Jackson Raymer, uh, who was doing a lot of that great blocking, by the way, uh, comes up with a fumble recovery there. And the Warriors in business once again uh, with a chance to really salt this game away. Uh, Green with the deep ball. And down to Hornby, uh, makes a great catch for the 37-yard gain. Green, 9 for 11 for 163. Hornby, 158 yards of offense, but he's taken down behind the line of scrimmage there. And then on fourth and five, Green, nowhere to go, and uh, he has stopped short of the first down. So the Warriors, instead of kicking a field goal to go by six, they went for it and uh, turned it over on downs. Colts take over with 324 to go. And it's Petit with another good pass for a first down. And then once again, Petit uh, throws another first down pass this time to Luke Gorin, uh, Gorantini, and then Petit goes deep to Gorantini, and great coverage by the Warriors here, but Gorantini with a fantastic grab, and uh, he hauls it in for the 35-yard gain. And then Petit, he's gonna go back to the man that's been hauling the passes all day, Dickerson, for about five-yard gain there. And then on fourth and 12, instead of the game time field goal, they go with what's worked all day, Petit to Dickerson for the touchdown uh, with 15.7 seconds left. Dickerson, seven catches for 148 yards, three touchdowns. Warriors just had no answer for him. One last play for the Warriors. They try a desperation heave and that green pass falls just short. And the Warriors, the Warriors season falls just short. Uh, fantastic football game though. Five lead changes in that football game. Uh, the Warriors finish 11 and two. Like I said, uh, the best season they've had in a long time. Uh, that school record 11 wins and uh, just a great run for that, for that group. Jake Green, Brandon Hornby, Jackson Raymer, uh, all those guys, Luke Dunker, uh, so many of those players uh, were, were fantastic for Frederick throughout their careers. And uh, really, this has been a long time coming for Frederick. This is not just a great year, but it's been a fantastic run for them. Look at the five-year progression. This goes back to before Travis Peoples took over in 2017, but this team was 0-10 in 2015, just four years ago. 1-9 uh, in 2016. They kept improving every year, finally got back to the playoffs in 2018 and lost in the first round. And then this year, the nice run to the semifinals. And uh, congratulations to Frederick 
for a great run. I know that it didn't end the way they wanted it to, but to get that far, that's a fantastic run for the Warriors, and uh, that's a program that uh, is on the rise. I think they lose a lot of players. They're going to be back next year, hoping to do some of the same things. Let's take a look at 3A football and the semifinal scores from last week. Obviously, there's the Frederick score. On the other side, Palmer Ridge, uh, as expected, they uh, route Green Mountain 42-21, to so they move on to the finals. Let's take a look at the big school championship matchups. Uh, some great ones coming up this week. These, are, these games are this Saturday. 4A and 5A will be at the uh, Broncos Stadium and then 3A down at CSU Pueblo. Number six, Columbine, 11-2, and two, taking on number one, Cherry Creek. Uh, Columbine with back-to-back one-point losses back in October. Otherwise, they've been perfect. They're sticking their sixth state title since 1999, their first one in eight years, though. Cherry Creek has got nine state titles, but they're looking for their first one in five years. Uh, Broomfield, number two, taking on number one, Pine Creek. Uh, Broomfield, 13-0, Pine Creek, 12-1. Broomfield is looking for its first state title since it won three out of four from 1981 to 84. Pine Creek lost to Valley Christian in week three, but otherwise they've been perfect. Uh, they're seeking their fourth state title in the last eight years. And then Palmer Ridge taking on Pueblo South in 3A. Palmer Ridge, Palmer Ridge has won the last two 3A titles. They come in 11 and 2. Uh, they lost to Pine Creek and Discovery Canyon. They've had a great season. And, and South, they lost to Palmer Ridge. In a, uh, in a game on, on September 27th, so a rematch of that uh, of Pueblo South's only loss. And uh, South won the 4A title in 2017, uh, looking for their second state title in school history later on this week. In the small schools, they've already had their championship games, and uh, you know we don't have any schools in those, but I wanted to just show you who has won those state titles. Sterling, with their first ever state title, which surprises me, because they've had some good football over the years, but first one ever in Class 2A uh, for Sterling. Lyman, state record, 18th state title, seven more than anyone else. They've won two in a row. Uh, Sedgwick County, uh, they've won uh, five in a row, uh, eight-man titles. All the championship wins by at least 30 points. They have just been dominant. And then in six-man, uh, Fleming, uh, their first state title since back-to-back -back titles in 2011 and 2012. So uh, football is over. The fall sports are over for us. And, uh, you know, it's been a fantastic run uh, for a lot of these teams, including Frederick, me, the fantastic football season. Uh, but it is over. The fall sports season has come to a close and, and a great season. Again, Erie winning the state title in softball. Uh, lots of great things across country. So just a fun fall sports season for us here at the St. Brain Sports Report. I want to thank Blaine Robinson and Don Gurton for all the behind-the-scenes work they do on this show, as well as Tim Ellis and Blaine for getting our video for us each and every week. Uh, check out BocoPreps.com and the Longmont Times Call. They'll get you up to date on everything going on in high school sports in the area. Also, like us on Facebook and check us out on the web at LongmontChannel.com where you can watch this or any other programs you like here on Channel 8. And as always, we want to thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you again next week.